Hi there. My name is Charles Clayton. I am a field applications engineer with Intel FPGA. In this video series, I'm going to do a walkthrough of an entire Intel high-level synthesis HLS flow going from pure C code to finally a demonstration of that code implemented on a Stratex 10 FPGA development kit. This video series will be broken into three videos. So in this video, I'm going to take a standard C function and tweak it to be implemented on an FPGA. And then using the Intel HLS I++ compiler, I'm going to create an IP component that implements that function that could be instantiated in Verilog. In the second video, I'm going to integrate that IP component into a fresh Cordis project. So there's going to be one file that I created ahead of time. But other than that, this entire thing is going to be built in real time in front of you. And then in the final video, I'm going to compile that bitstream, flash it on my Stratix 10 development kit, and then we'll talk to it through System Console and do a demonstration of our implementation of the C code that we initially started with. I'm going to use a sorting algorithm. This is fairly arbitrary, but it's simple, it's palpable, and easy to demo. First, we'll include the HLS and algorithmic C data type libraries. This function is also for an arbitrary length array. We're going to be just sorting 10 32-bit integers. So let's make this a fixed length 10 element array. OK, to keep the interface simple, instead of passing a pointer here, what we're going to do is pass just one wide flat bus that's going to be 32 by 10 bits, 32-bit integers by 10 integers. And similarly, we're going to return a flat bus that's going to be 32 by 10 bit. And to make the values easy to read in hex, we're also going to keep the integers unsigned, which is what this false is doing. Now, just for the HLS tool to recognize this function, we're going to add this label component. Then again, to keep the interface simple, we're going to be using this setting HLS always run component. Um, with that, there's no extra inputs generated that indicate to start or stall the calculation or outputs showing the status. It'll just be always be running on the input. OK, so now we have our input. Let's decompose this flat 32 by 10 bit bus into an array of 32 unsigned integers. So we'll loop through the bus using the slice method. This will return a 32 bit slice starting at index 0 and then index 32 and so on. OK, now we've unflattened the array, then we can sort the array just using the scan C code we already have. And then after that, we're going to flatten the array again in order to return it. And also for consistency, we're going to be making sure that we're using a 32-bit unsigned integer here. OK, to flatten it, we're going to do the inverse, which is creating a wide bus and then setting the slices to it from the sorted array. And then we'll return that value. Now, there is one hiccup here. In order to use this set slice operator, this needs to be of type AC integer. So we're going to create another array, A0, and then just copy over the array of uint32s into an array of AC ints. And that's it for C. So now we have our insertion sort function written. Let's run the high level synthesis I compiler on it. Now, this first part is just something I have to write for my environment, so ignore that. But now we can run the I compiler on our C file. Um, we can specify that we're going to target the Stratix 10 architecture. We're also just going to test it right on the device. So let's not bother simulating it or generating the RTL test bench. And now we have our IP generated. So I will see you in the next video where we integrate it in Cordis.